We're going to replace the bushings in a two horsepower bridge for variable speed motor. I've got everything apart and these are my two assemblies. You can see there's the front assembly with the cap on the top. There's the assembly with the spring compressed. First thing you want to do is get the cap off of the top. So take two pry bars and in a perfect world it'll pop right off. cap off. If your bearing's good, that's great. If not, you're going to have to knock the bearing out and put a new bearing in it. The motor, you are very well served if you will build yourself a little something like this. Because you can take your disc, put it on here. Now, once you have this down and you, as you can see, I didn't go super tight. Just take your wrench, take your sets, your socket head cap screws out. Now we have two discs with just bushings in there. Okay. First thing we do is knock your key out, your old key out. You can hold your old bushings. You should just pull right out. As you can see on the two horsepower key, it has an actual socket head cap screw. Get the right size range. piece keys are sometimes a pain to get out. Thick screwdriver, kind of peel it in there, get it, everything loose for you, and you reach in and grab it. Okay. There, now we have two bushings out. Just, you, you can see the old glue residue inside of these, and we're, our next step will be getting that out of there. Okay, now, get the old glue out. I use a Dremel with a little sanding disc on it. And you just turn it, obviously turn it on. Kind of in there and see how quickly it kind of falls off. Okay, as you can see, we now have the glue out of the flats. Now we have to get the glue out of the edges where the um, flanges go. So, I use, let me go get it, sorry. What you're gonna wanna do is then get in here with a pick, and you have to make sure there's no residue. And I'm going to show you both ways to do this. This is one way to do it. Make sure 
sure both sides are done. See, this side's got a lot more in it. And it's not going to come out so easy, which is just as well. Okay, so you see how that's really hard and it's not coming out? We're going to get the Dremel out again. I use a different tool. We have a Dremel, and you see this tool right here. Buy it at Lowe's. That's why I buy mine. Go in, and you'll pick it up there where the... Yeah, it's cutting all the dirt glue out. Obviously, when you're working with a Dremel, you're working at your own risk. So, I've been doing this for a long time. Notice when you're working with the motor disc, there's two completely separate um, flanges. Okay, when you have them done, take an airline, air obviously blow everything out. And you will notice, and you still have some glue. In the keyway edge, you're going to want to try to get as much of that out as you can. You're going to want to get as much of this glue out as you can. So I have a screwdriver that I just kind of sharpen an edge on it, turn it into a little chisel almost. Usually it just kind of breaks out. It's not the most resilient stuff in the world. Just want to get it out. So when you put your new key in, it's not setting up and putting pressure on your keyway on the other side. gets all the glue out. So we are now ready to start fitting our new bushings. 1036-20 because it's a two horsepower. Let's see what we got inside our kit here. We have the arbor, the bushings, and the key for the front side. We have the arbor, the bushings, and the key for the two horsepower side. We have two glue packs. The piece of sandpaper which you would use to rough that up but we already did that with the Dremel. Two sticks and a new retaining ring for the bottom of your motor shaft. Number one, before we glue anything in, this is incredibly critical because most people, a lot of people don't do this. Once you have everything cleaned out to where you're happy with it, put your bushings in with no glue. Take your arbor, stick your arbor through. As long if you can push your arbor through like that by hand, you're going to be good. Push the arbor back out, take your bushings out. Stick them on top of your arbor so you don't lose them. Do the same thing with the motor side. And the reason this is critical is because if you did leave residue in there and you go ahead and glue it, then you try to stick your arbor through and it's not going to go through and you're going to be buying more bushings. So that also goes right through. So we're good to go. Okay. Now that we have established we're in good condition here, we are going to mix up a glue packet. So take your glue packet, just fold it in half and kind of squeeze it a little bit just to loosen everything up and just kind of squeeze it towards the bottom. Take a pair of scissors, blue tape optional, just take the top off and just kind of get it out on your board or whatever you're using to mix it up. Take one of the sticks and just kind of mix it up. You got it mixed. Take about half of it. And you're 
and slather it in there and one side take the other half nothing on the other side okay once it's in you will take your bushings with a pair of small pliers over squeeze them like this get a hold of it like that you see how I have it like that take it in to about where it hits the key put it in and then just kind of center it take your pliers and make sure that your keyway is lined up take the next one do the same thing again There we go. Okay. Now that you have those in like that, you have the keyways lined up. Pick it up in a vise or something like that. Take your arbor. You need to coat your arbor with WD-40 or a light, light, something like that. You're going to push it through. And when you push it through, do not turn. You go straight. until you are about right that position right there and take it up set it somewhere where it's not going to be laying down we should have found a better spot Come on, right there. and now we will do the next one so again discard your old stick old glue Get your new one out. Straight in, no turning. And it should push pretty hard, because that's the whole idea of the whole thing. And that is it. Your bushings are in. And then tomorrow morning, you can put your keys in and put it all back together, and you're good to go. As we left off, we had glued our bushings. Now we're ready to take the arbors out and put everything back together again. So, put your arbor in your jaw and your vise. You have a number two trusty cook. Well, number three would work too. Okay, you're gonna do that. Take a little punch. some glue residue everywhere so you can take a tool any kind of an edging tool kind of get your glue residue off just what you want to make sure you don't do is start peeling the edges of your bushing I mean you can do it a little bit not gonna hurt anything but you see there's some on the inside there so we'll have to put it back up here in the vise get in there and kind of knock it out. Sometimes it's hard. See everything's cleaned out. So we are now ready to put in the key. The key comes in a packet in three pieces for a two horsepower. Horse and a half is just one single key. What you're going to do is you're going to put this together. 
like so. Just kind of push it in. Shoot it out of your finger. <laughs> together. The biggest thing you want to do is make sure your key will, your screw will screw in there. Wind up correctly, which it does. So, this key goes in one way and one way only. The plastic goes against the edge here. Sometimes you need to kind of tap it down a little bit because you might have a little piece of debris or something in there. You can see I had a little bit of glue that was still caught in there, but we got it out. So you can tap it down to your, your keyway. You can see your keyway through there. And we will attach our screw. Some of them have a flange. So the key, the screw will go in and stop. Some of them are just through holes. You may need to grind a little bit off the end of your screw. Here. Okay, there we go. Now we have it on. Now I would recommend if you're doing this yourself before you put the spring back on to go over to your motor shaft and make sure it slides on okay. Uh, in this case, we're not going to do that because I need to work on the motor shaft. So set it back on your fixture or whatever you use. Make sure this flange is where the keyway is. And press it all back down. Once you get one started, and kind of tap it to get everything to line up for you. After all, it is a spring, and springs like to do their own thing. Go down until it stops, and then back it off about a quarter turn. That means that way, when you put it back together, it's not binding up on it. That one is done. Now we will tackle the front one. You have everything out. You will take your key. And what I do is I actually take it and hold it and tap it down to make sure I'm getting all my residue out. Obviously, you got to clear that. But you want to hold the bottom in so that the residue is getting out. And it might take a couple attempts. Because the worst thing to do you can have is when you get ready to do this is have this keyway be not flush and then you can't get it on your shaft again. So there you go. That's done now. The cap. What you can do is take it and put it between two pieces like that. You will need to find a piece of steel or something that's going to fit in there. Like a hammer. bearing that goes in here is part number 1558. This is where a, a very small arbor press is fine, but you need a press. You can put that right there. You may need to put a board over the top. Our press has got a big enough throat that we don't. Just get, make sure you're not obviously in the flange or anything. Then you can take your take your disc, set the bearing right on there. Again, you're going to need to find something 
that will fit over the top of it. We just have a little piece of pipe we use. Fits right on top. Just a small piece of bar. And there you go. You have your assembly done. You're ready to go back together.